Now, as far as difficult media jobs go, being a reporter in Azerbaijan is probably one of the toughest. Journalists there are often under pressure from the government, sometimes fined or even jailed. In fact, Reporters Without Borders ranks Azerbaijan 156th out of 179 countries for freedom of the press. It's only just above Syria, Saudi Arabia and North Korea. There are still journalists working there, though, who do speak out, including those at the online news channel Objective TV, whose work is being honoured at an awards ceremony today. Here is a glimpse of what they're up against. We face pressure from police while filming demonstrations. We are attacked, pushed and hit. But we continue to do our job despite all the odds. <laughs> So those are pictures um, from earlier this year from Azerbaijan. That's what it can be like if you're filming a demonstration there. And with me in the studio is Amin Hussainov, who's the founder and owner of Objective TV, uh, which is being honoured today at the One World TV Awards. That kind of scene um, when your journalists were out filming a demonstration, is that unusual or common? It's typical pictures from Azerbaijani reality. From last 10 years, we don't have any respect by government for human rights. And we don't have freedom of assembly, freedom of association, freedom of expression, and f free election. And that's for this <coughs> we organize. This is new online TV and show to all Azerbaijani people and international society general and main problems with human rights in our country. Mm -hmm. Because traditional media don't give access to civil society and opposition. So your channel exists online, doesn't it? it yeah. it's, uh, it it's, it, that's how it is broadcast. Do you think that has helped you at all in being able to tell stories the way you do? It's, it's, internet is our future because we believe for, in Azerbaijan reality, impossible organized traditional broadcasting. That's for we start using YouTube video hostings from promoting our news to Azerbaijani peoples and. I think it's last tools which we have. We don't have anything. And only for this we built our policy from use internet, a use uh, free and fair tools. Well, there is talk now, isn't there, that, um, that Azerbaijan is actually going to crack down on internet freedom. That's one of the things that the EU is worried about, which could affect you. Yeah. And when government understood from online TVs, include our channels, uh, right now we have very big audience inside the country, uh, government starts think about how to control the internet. And two or three weeks ago, pro-governmental MPs and some of different representatives from ruling regimes start thinking about how implement new law from regulate internet, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and other popular social online tools. So, I mean, clearly you operate in a very difficult environment. Will this award help you, or do you think it may actually make the authorities look even less favorably on you? I think it's helpful for us because this is respect to international society from our staff, from our job. Yes, we know so every time we have dangerous situation from government wants and have plans how to attack it us but <coughs> we don't care about our safety we continue our job day by day every time our staff have violence blackmail attacks and other ar short arrested right now seven of my colleagues sit in the prison in azerbaijan we part of council of europe we part of OEC, we participate in Eastern Partnership European 
policy, but Azerbaijani government don't respect human rights, and that's what we won't show to all the world. For the world needs pressing to directly pressing to Azerbaijani government. Well, congratulations on on the award for Objective TV, Amir Hussein. Thanks for being thanks. with us.